Well, we now have our 8 a.m. advisory this Thursday morning on still Hurricane Ernesto. It is maintaining Category 1 status as it is making its northward turn out into the Atlantic Ocean. Winds of 85 miles an hour and pressure down to 975 millibars. This is moving north at some considerable sp speed, about 13 miles an hour, and this did just make quite an impact down on areas like the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. Nearly half the people in Puerto Rico reporting power outages, so yes, definitely having a major impact, even if it's not going over over major land masses like the United States or areas like Cuba and Hispaniola. So Ernesto is going to continue its northward path, a little bit of a northeasterly turn once it gets up into the Atlantic Ocean just a little bit further and maintaining category one or two status, maybe even popping up as a major hurricane by the afternoon hours tomorrow. But before it makes landfall in Bermuda, it does look to go down to about category two status as of the early morning hours on Saturday. And this is going to continue the trek through the western Atlantic Ocean not going to pose much of an impact to many major land masses as I mentioned and once it gets further up into the northern Atlantic Ocean it's going to interact with that cooler water and that's going to cause it to weaken into a remnant low pressure system sometime by the midweek next week. But I want to note that obviously Bermuda under a hurricane warning as this is going to have major impacts winds still going to be somewhere around the 100 mile an hour mark by the time it does make landfall over Bermuda but also going to have an impact hundreds of miles away up the Atlantic coast of the United States. So for for any of you that number one, if you have a cruise plan for Bermuda, definitely going to need a contingency plan over the weekend. But number two, if you're planning on any Atlantic beach trips, so that's areas from Norfolk, Wilmington, all the way down to the Atlantic coast of Florida, Jacksonville, Miami, those areas definitely going to experience some swelling in terms of the waves that are definitely going to be threatening and also some life threatening rip currents. So be very, very cautious and obey what the lifeguards do have to say if you have any beach trips planned on the Atlantic coast of the United States. But right now, not posing any major impact other than that to the United States, it is ushering in some drier air across central Georgia right now, and that will continue to be the case over the course of tomorrow as well due to the circulation of the winds. But right now, Hurricane Ernesto stands at a category one expected to continue to strengthen as it runs into a lower shear environment and still over this warm Atlantic water, and this will maintain category two status all the way until it gets into the mid midweek next week. So proceed with caution, especially if you have any beach plants on the Atlantic coast later this weekend.